Okay. Um, this is going to be a video on how to get this bottle of liquor, or any liquor of your choice, into this bottle of wine. Perfectly sealed, uh, an untouched cork, um, and shrink wrapped. Obviously the goal here is to be able to go on a cruise that allows you two bottles of wine per cabin and bring two bottles of liquor instead. Okay, so here are the items that we're going to need. Number one, you're going to need a bottle of wine. You would like uh, to get a Chardonnay that has a green glass bottle. That's going to be the best type of bottle to hide your liquor. Um, if it's a clear liquor, you're not going to have any problem at all. If it is a darker liquor, like a darker scotch, uh, try to get the darkest green glass uh, wine bottle you can find. Um, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be opening up the wine, dumping it, and then filling it with the liquor. All right. So the items you're going to need is you're going to need a hammer, you're going to need a dime, you will also need a ratchet handle or this is a ratchet extension that's going to be placed on the dime to knock the cork into the bottle. Always have towels available because you don't want the label getting wet at all. And you're going to need a plastic Walmart bag. I'll show you how that is going to assist in us removing the cork from the bottle. Uh, these are PVC shrink wrap wine uh, caps that you could buy on eBay. I think you get like 30 of them for like $9. I got a, an assortment package which gave me gold, maroon, and black. So what I try to do is I try to match the wine bottle as best as possible. All right. So step one is going to be, let's open up the wine and dump it out. All right. So in this case, we really don't care about the uh, wrapping around the, the neck of the wine. What is going to be the most important to us is that we do not affect the cork, okay? We're gonna to wanna to get all of this wrapping off. All right. And this is just garbage. Let's put that to the side. And now what we're going to do is we're going to knock this cork, cork <laughs> into the bottle. All right, so how you do that is might as well just move these items out of the way. Is we're going to now put the dime on the cork right on the top of the bottle. I'm going to position it so hopefully it doesn't hit the glass. We're going to put the ratchet extension kind of in the middle. And we're going to slowly tap with the hammer get out of the way. See if you notice the cork is starting to go into the bottle. Okay and there you go. So now we use the towel to try to get the bottle as dry as possible and now we're going to dump the wine. Okay we are back. All right all we did was open the bottle of wine, we dumped it down the sink, and now it is time to get the cork out of the bottle. All right, that's what the Walmart bag is all about. All right, so what you do with the Walmart bag is you need to straighten out the bag, and you need to start to turn it like this so it's nice and skinny because we're going to put it in the bottle. Alright, so now that it's like that, the next step is you have to get the cork 
and get it into the neck like that or have it ready to get into the neck. So what we're doing here is we're now pushing the bag, if you could see, into the bottle, okay, and shaking this so the cork will come down the neck. And now we're going to open up the bag enough, I'm going to have to turn this around here, so we can blow into it. All right, you get this. Okay, so what we got is we have the cork heading downward out of the neck. We have the Walmart plastic bag inflated with air. So now what we're going to do is we're going to turn this as tight as possible. Okay, we're going to hold on to that and we're now going to pull the plastic bag with the cork. And I have to give it. <coughs> All right, so hold on. And of course it went under the cell. because I'm going to tell you what can happen. It went under the stove. Well, anyway, voila. You now have an empty bottle and you have a perfect cork because part of making sure this looks perfect is putting the original cork back in the bottle. Okay, I'm back. So, now that we have an empty wine bottle, it doesn't really smell like wine, but if you want to, you can actually rinse the bottle out, but you have to make sure, like I said at the beginning, is that the labels stay dry, okay? So, we could take two seconds, rinse the bottle out, I'll be right back, and uh, this way, your alcohol or vodka or whatever you're putting in the bottle doesn't have the taste of some really cheap wine. Okay. Believe it or not, one rinse is typically good enough to get the wine. So, next, all right, we're back. So next is we need to get the booze into the bottle, and that's as easy as you want it to be. I would suggest using a funnel, um, and once again, not to ruin the label. All right, okay, everybody, we're back. And voila, look at this beautiful bottle of wine. Haha, <laughs> it's filled with vodka. So now you get the cork, push it in as best as you can. This cork goes in actually fairly well because it's cheap. Uh, once again, we're going to put the dime there. We're going to do the reverse. Instead of knocking the cork all the way in, we're just going to get it back to the point of what it looks like when it's a new bottle, which is just a touch under, under the glass. And let's see. And we're going to just do a touch more, get it a little lower. Okay. Take our dime off. And so far, so good. We now have a perfectly corked bottle of wine. Now, here's the trick. What we have to do is we have to uh, start boiling the water. I'll move this over. Let's see if that's good. Yeah, that's good. And we're going to put the stove on. We're going to boil the water. And since it was a gold cap that we took off of this bottle, 
we're going to put a gold cap back on. That's going to go on permanently once the water is boiling. We're going to stick it in upside down once or twice and then we're going to make sure we have our towel to dry it off once again so it doesn't leak and ruin the label. Okay? Okay, we are back and we are now going to shrink wrap this wine top onto this bottle. Like I said, most important thing, keep the bottle dry. Alright? You can put it on there. And we're just going to dip it in. We're going to hold it under the water for about 5-10 seconds, just a little bit, so it's nice and hot. And we're going to take it out. And like I said, we're going to make sure that nothing gets wet so the label looks good. And we can shut the water. And then we're going to just pat this dry so there's no drips. And voila, you have that you have your sealed bottle of wine.